Let's move on to other MMA news. Uh, Dana White came out and confirmed Leon Edwards is 100% next for Kamaru Usman. I'll just leave the floor to you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're very happy. I'm, I'm happy. No. Leon Edwards <laughs> deserves the shot. I mean, I've been saying this for a long time, and now I can finally be at peace. I can sleep at night again. Uh, thank you so much for finally making this fight happen. Uh, you know, I, I still, as much as I love Leon Edwards, and I've been, I've been the biggest advocate for for him. But again, I, I, I do believe Kamal Usman has got a very good shot at winning that and probably will win that fight. But at least Leon Edwards finally getting his opportunity, you know? Because we are on the side of the fighters a lot of the time. As long yeah. as you're not an asshole like Connor or a bad person, like, we're going to be on your side. Like John. And just watch it, Yarrow or John, like, <laughs> just watching Leon Edwards' career, like, he deserved, he deserved that shot. So I'm happy he finally got it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy as well. Uh, Leon didn't deserve it. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, get that guy out of there. He's cringe as fuck. No, I'm just joking. I like Leon a lot. It's the best It's the best matchup you can make right now at 170 pounds. Do I think Leon Edwards is going to take that fight? No, I'm going with Usman. Uh, but Usman, man, that jab, the wrestling, everything there. But I hope I, they go down to the ground because that's where it gets really intriguing for me. I do believe Usman and Leon on the feet. It could be a good fight as well, but I just see Usman. He's got too much power on that jab, and his takedown threat is so... He utilizes it so well. He just got to show a little movement there, and it instantly flinches his opponent up, which allows him to land that jab at will. Yeah. And then the big overhands come. So I'm very excited to see that striking matchup. But I hope it goes down to the ground because that's where it's going to be intriguing for me. Both these men are fantastic wrestlers and fantastic Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners. But Usman, I just can't wait to see. Yeah, let's let's play a fun little game here. Uh, let's let's talk about the opening odds for a fight like this. I think Kamal Usman will probably come in at about a minus two forty favorite, about a two and a half favorite there. He should be. Uh, I, I think Leon will probably come in at a plus two two ten, maybe a plus two hundred. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I think Usman is definitely uh, the heavy favorite. In this yeah, fight. he needs to be. I mean, uh, a lot of people in the chat are saying they're going for Usman and. Uh, Usman's going to retire after that fight. I see that from Savage Gamer. He's also saying it's easy money. Kevin's going for Usman. Ignorant and May. Leon gets knocked out in three. A lot of people are wow. sleeping on Leon Edwards, man. This man's yeah. fucking good. He's fucking good. Yes, he almost got knocked out by Nate Diaz. But still, I mean, like, we got to give this guy respect. Yeah, he was too, completely you know? outclassing him on the feet the entire time. And if he really wanted to, he could have just taken Nate down and fucked him up there on the ground as well because he's very dominant on the ground as well. So. Yeah. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm leaning Usman. I'm going to take Usman. I'm going to put my money on Usman. I'm going to put the church coin. I'm going to put the house on Usman. But Leon, I guess, is what we might start saying if he loses. Hey, maybe, maybe. Before we move on, does Usman retire after this fight? Because a lot of people were talking about We talked about that last night, too. No, I don't. I don't. Again, like, I, I, we did talk about it, but you have guys in the wings. You have guys like Vicente Luque, who has looked super impressive, especially last year with two beautiful submissions. Uh, one against a jiu-jitsu fiend practitioner in one Michael Chiesa, also submitted Tyron Woodley. Uh, that That's a fight that you could definitely make, and I'd be very excited for it because we have not seen that match matchup you got of course uh but i'll remember the name muhammad who's sitting at number five at this point okay that is a great matchup and and here's here's the last one you ready hamza motherfucking chamayev uh against kamaru usman are you guys trying to tell me you would not fucking love that matchup and that doesn't intrigue kamaru here's the thing kamaru usman is one of the most competitive athletes on the face of the planet i think if people were chirping a lot right let's say kamaru goes out there and defeats leon edwards and uh chamayev can get past burns and everyone's saying Chamayev could be the real champ. I don't think Kamaru leaves. I don't think he leaves. I think he wants to prove to the world, motherfucker, I am the best welterweight in, in the UFC, and he believes he's the best uh, UFC welterweight, period. And you know, you bet your ass that he would get in that octagon with Hamza Chamayev, uh, attempt to beat him, and then right off into the sunset. I don't think this will be uh, Kamal Usman's last fight. There's too many great fights uh, left for him uh, with, with the way Hamza, Leon Edwards, or excuse me, uh, Vicente Luque and Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad, have been fighting over the course of the last year. So that's just my take. I don't yeah. think he retires. I, I, I cannot die happy. I used to say this about Co uh, Habib and Tony, but I've made my peace on that. I've made my peace on that. But I will not die happy if I don't see Usman versus Hamza Chemaev. Like, that is the most intriguing fight the UFC can make, period. Yeah. 
Like, it's the best fight the UFC can make, period, skill-wise. Stylistically. Stylistically. I, I want to see that. I want to see, can Hamza Chimaev go and do that to that man right there? The number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the UFC right now. The man who I say, is, I want to see him fight Israel Adesanya, too. I know they're best friends. I know you can make a buco bucks there. Like, please, UFC, pay these men. I need to see these fights. Him versus Israel or him versus Hamza. Like, I really want to see if, if, if Usman can get through both of those men. I don't know how you don't say this is the greatest fighter of all time right there. Yes, especially the era of with which Kamal Usman is yes. in with with a with a really stacked welterweight division from top to bottom. I mean, you go down the top 15, you're like, they're savages. It's ridiculous. This whole division. Uh, I, I, I want to bring up a, a question here from Savage Gamer. The real question is, if Usman retires, let's play let's play a hypothetical here. Who will be the champ? Division is wide open. Comes up. He also says, I see Colby being the champ. Uh yeah, you know, I got to be 110% honest. Like, what I'm seeing out of Hamzat Chemaev, I keep being like, oh, it's just hype. It's just hype. And, and again, Jing Liang is a fantastic fighter. Still not a top five guy. We haven't really seen it. But I'll tell you right now, when we get that Hamzat Chemaev, Gilbert Burns, if Hamzat Chemaev goes out there and does what he has historically done in the UFC to Gilbert Burns, I will sit here and tell you right now that will be the next fucking champ. Absolutely. It will be. Absolutely. fucking Especially if Usman uh, does end up retiring. Like, that's, that's the guy right there. And another fucking awesome fight for the belt would be a Colby Covington, Hamza Chamaya for the belt, <laughs> dude. Me? Are you kidding I me? I love or it. Or what? That I love it. You know, fight. Shout out to all three of those men. Like, I, I just want to see these men fight each other. I want to see Hamza fight Usman. I'm just, that's my number one fight I want to see right now. That's my new Tony and Habib. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't turn into Tony and Habib, and it just never, it's one of those that never, never happens. happens. It's just, it's, it sucks. It sucks. But I cannot wait for that. I hope it happens. I do believe Hamzat's the next guy. Yeah. I think he, that's the man that could beat Usman. And I, I've said multiple times this podcast before, I think Usman beats Israel. So would I be shocked if Hamzat wins the 170-pound belt, moves back up to 185, and beats Israel? I'm just saying, guys, you know, it might be the area of the Chechens because, or the new era of the Chechens and Russians and shit because that man is the scariest man in the UFC right now. Oh, and, and we've seen, we've seen Hamzat Chemaev go out there against middleweights uh, or a middleweight and, and literally knock him out in the first round. He's got the power. He's got the capability. And I think you're spot on on that. If Hamza Chemaev can go out there and win the 170 belt, if Usman retires, I think that matchup's super intriguing. I want to see it. But if Usman does retire, you got Hamza winning the belt. I totally agree with you. And then a fight or two, he might have to defend his 170 belt once, mm -hmm. but then he bumps up to 185 and takes on the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cosmo Reaver, base take from Mason. I need to see Hamza beat a top five guy before I'm fully behind the hype. Jerry said, I'm drinking Hamza Kool Aid by the gallon. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Cosmo, Me too. I, I, dude. Uh, I, I was very skeptical about Hamzat for a long time. You know, I was like, ah, let's see him against, you know, top, I was saying top 15, and then I said top 10. At this point, man, I'm just, I got to be honest with you, I'm just all in. I'm all in on Hamza. I'm, I'm finally accepting the hype, and uh, I'm on the hype train, bro. I'm on the, I'm on the Hamza hype train. So. I can't wait for the Gilbert Birds fight. Hopefully that happens soon. You know what, that co-main, so let's just talk about this real quick. Um, this could kind of be the same NMA news segment. Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal was announced. UFC 272 It is the new main event after yes. Volkanovski and uh, Korean Zombie mo got pushed back a month. They also moved, it w well, I guess, you know, shout out to Aljamain Sterling and Pieter Jan in that rematch. They could have headlighted that card, but they were like, nope, go back to Komain under a Volkanovski and <laughs> Korean Zombie. <laughs> and then people were saying on Twitter, yeah, not surprised. This man can't headline a pay-per-view. Yeah. I think uh, one more. Th <laughs> I just thought that was funny. One more thing on the Hamza thing because I see you guys uh, uh, in the chats. Another thing too is like I guess why I'm so sure on a guy like Hamza is he doesn't get punched, he doesn't get kicked, he doesn't get taken down. No one tries to submit him because this guy beats you before you got an opportunity to even get warmed Your up. Your game, yeah. And that's what's so surprising, and that's what's so. Uh, I don't know, special about Hamza Chemaev. Like, I really have wrestled with this for a long time, no pun intended. But I don't know, man. Like, I have never seen anyone even, like, uh, test him at all. But I would love to see him a top five fighter, absolutely. And, and I hope we get that with Gilbert Burns. I want to see Burns and Hamza as the co-main event to Colby Covington, Jorge Masvidal. Yeah, five-round co-main yeah. event. Hell yeah. Why the fuck not? Yeah.
I, I, it ain't going five rounds. I'm telling you right now, someone's going to sleep or fucking someone's getting, someone's getting the, choked, the out. choked the fuck out in that yeah. fight. Because the ground game, the transitions that could happen with Gilbert Burns and Hamzat Chemaev, like just mainline it right now, right into my vein, please, because that's what I need in my life. I cannot fucking wait to see what happens there. If Hamzat's on top, can Gilbert Burns do that slithering dragon shit that he gets out of bottom uh-huh. all the time? He's done it before so many times against elite jujitsu guys and elite wrestlers as well, so... I'm I know, just I super f- intrigued. I can't fucking wait for I know, that fight. I, fucking, I love that matchup. I, can't I love wait, that matchup, dude. dude I'm it's going to be fun. Anyways, uh, shout out to uh, Kevin Burns versus Hamza in Brazil. That's also, it, it's got to be a main event. It's got to be five rounds. It ain't going five rounds, but it's got to be, right? Yeah. Or you do a five-round co-main event underneath that fight. Can't wait. The, the future is Could looking Could you imagine very a fight night ma- main event for those two? That'd oh, be fuck. insane. Yeah. That would blow do the it record in Abu Dhabi. for a fight night, for sure. Yeah, but. you do it at Fight Island. Uh, that's without a doubt yeah. main event worthy. Yeah.